Hey, hey there, Taurus. This is Joy with Joy the World here to take an intuitive peek into the energies going on around you. Friends and subscribers, welcome back. And if you're new to this channel, click that subscribe button and ring the bell. They'll notify you anytime I post new videos. Also, if you find you like the content we provide here at Joy the World, give us that big thumbs up, like, and share. Share with your friends and family so we can get this message from Joy to the World out to the whole big world to make it bigger, bolder, brighter and more beautiful. So for now, we're going to dive right on in. Oh, and thank you to those who've been given donations. I'm working them together to order new decks. We've got one, two, three that have shown up, two of which are riding in your reading. So as I began to fold the cards and take a good look, you were like, money, love, good stuff. And I'm like, mm-hmm, you got my ear. I'm listening. I'm listening to us. What is it? And you're like, we want it. I'm like, okay, so what do you want to know about it? How do you want to go about this? And um, you're like, we want to know what to do. But the interesting thing is, is as I began to move the cards with that intention, the first is just when I'm shuffling. It's just the shuffling that you began to show me, kind of like little flashes, little probes of what is going on. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then I began to move the cards. So as I start to shuffle them and they began to talk and spit their way out, what has come out was letting me know that it has to do with the culture of your environment, the culture, the crew, the group, getting back to where you came from, making some shifts and changes starting today because we're at the countdown, right? Starting today, at least while I'm filming this, is still the tail end of August. I think it will be also wrapping up right when your reading comes out. So it's to start now immediately right away, making small steps because we had the pig coming in saying, beware of greed. Don't sit here and just go whole hog going, I'll do what I gotta do to get what I want. I'll do what I gotta do to get what I want because it has to do with this culture. It has to do with this. It has to do with where you come from, where you're going. So you can't just sit there and like, like, you know, dogs, when they run on bare floors, they kind of spin and their toenails are clicking and clacking as they're trying to get traction. It's about that traction and being on track, getting on track with your life and having the whole big thing because that's what you were letting me know through the openings of the deck. <clears throat> Interesting. My throat doesn't go out. Finding your voice also. Finding your truth, letting it rise up and letting it shine through. Some of you have been under the blanket, the cloud of oppression and the blanket of suppression, holding back, stuffing down those type of things. And it wasn't just like thoughts and feelings. It was unctions and urges to get moving, to get going, which if that's there when it's there and motivation's there, go for it, Taurus. Because so, now when it begins to sit like a stone, having to get it started, get it rolling can take a bit of exertion to go on. But this is a whole new life for you because we got the pen coming in, okay? It's talking about new job and career. This is about making your mark, putting your mark. So this is some of you prepping. Like some people, when they know they're getting married or going to prom or whatever else, they start making strides to get to a certain goal that they have of how they want to look, how they want to feel, a certain dress they want to wear or outfit they want to wear, where they want to go, men, what you want to save up for to be able to take somebody, that type of thing. It's that sort of mindset and not tunnel vision, but journey, like you're looking at the road, you're mapping it out. So how do we begin to map this out? All right, Hierophant straight up in the center and they're like, me, 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 like we're in a classroom. Nobody else is raising their hand, no one. And you're like, me. So Hierophant is here for you, which is very uh, Taurus energy, right? It's about being forward moving but in the basics it's not like ultra progressive or anything new inventing the wheel anything like that this is just you stepping into what has already been prepared what is there because you could look back in your mind at a lot of old intentions that you had or old ways that you used to behave and perform and I don't mean acting perform like like how you used to like your workout routine how you used to like to get dinner set up. Some of you do an all-day cooking spree on Sunday and you set it out for the week. It's, it's that mindset of, of your approach, where you're coming from, that type of a thing. And the Hierophant's like, wait, I got more, got more, got a new idea. And that's pretty interesting. That's progressive. So he's telling us to go this way with the mother of water. She has quite a bit to say to us. 
You see her and take her in. This is one of the new decks that y'all helped me buy. Thank you for your donations. I'm so excited. It's like Christmas when they come in because it opens up more knowledge and wisdom for me to share with you, for y'all to share with me, for us to all grow together and become this fantastic, bright, bold, beautiful world we were talking about here. Okay. It's interesting because they're having me look over here. So we've got some stitching going on, which is a good thing because that's her tattoo on her chin. I think it's Maori's that they do that, Maori tribe. Um, so we're weaving and we're crossing, we're making a pattern. Yeah, he's like straight up. Okay, so let's go in. We're going to do it. We're going to weave this pattern. We're going to stitch it up, hold it all together. I'm just so you know, you're talking about hearth home, but also of the body. You were wanting to get into a routine of fitness, of exercise, of being fit, firm, toned, that type of thing. It's not even a certain look. It's about being in your best to balance your energy, to get a little more fire, a little more, a little bit more motivation moving in to impact and ripple through all the other areas of your life because you felt some stagnancy growing in, like like you were stitched to the ground like too many roots and you're like wait wait I want I want this new garment I can wear I have this new idea I have this new uh, mindset this trajectory that I'm wanting to go on so with that being said we're stepping into the nine but it all comes back to you release jaguar <laughs> but some of you it may be yoga can you see her I love this divine animal oracle deck because it is the human world mixing with the animal kingdom because we all are aren't we and that begins to strike up the light. That's very Aries, very Mars, getting yourself moving, having something to do with flow, oxygen, circulation. So, um, so getting up to some cardio to where it, it works your breath a little bit and you work up a sweat. It's very interesting how practical this card is coming out right now, but that's going to draw in your divine guides and get you reconnected in your heart. It's good for your heart energy. I don't know what that is for you. You know, I'm not a physician, a doctor, and I'm not prescribing anything. You know what's best for you. Remember, we talked about being able to go on that formulation of how you have been, your proficiency, that type of energy. You know what this is for you, okay? But just as a general message is what's coming about here, that opens up the stars and the planets for you. Some of you get revelation and you get insight or even just the insertion of new material while you're moving about whatever that is even if it's moving about to clean the home it's don't sit and think don't sit and think is what i hear you saying here that's interesting and the pig is like straight up too much of anything is not good for you that's what the pig keeps worrying about here and it's like a suckling pig because it says that'll lead you to the slaughter that'll lead you just down the wrong road right away so when you begin to feel uncomfortable in your body Whatever it is, shift that state. Like for me, if I sit too long, I get up and I start to move around between videos because it's just the act of having to be so sedentary. And then if I love exercise, but if I get to moving too much, I have to reel it in, sit down, watch the ocean, watch the sunrise, watch the whatever. Make sure I also have that balancing energy to come on in. And so with that, we're stepping into the daughter of fire. She's the one who gave the inference of exercise, but I'm seeing the elephant there. She's talking about exercising your mind, your memories, your mentality, your intelligence, your connection to friends and family, some joining together of your rituals and routines. I'm getting others involved, not just bearing the weight of it all by yourself and not just having being bound up by intentions. That is directly what she's talking about. Marry your mind together. And if you're going to let it muddle your mind, you're going to let it mull through your mind, then put the action to it. So that's what it's right under pig. And that's what little piggy's going, wee, 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 all the way home. He's like, for real, really. When you think about it, do it. When you think about it, do it. And so it's little uh, points of action taking, like, how do you eat the elephant? one bite at a time. It's taking it a bite at a time. And before you know it, your whole life will have turned a complete rotation of the wheel, okay? And then you'll be able to experience work and play and reward and rest. You'll have that, um, that harmony of energy that is very progressive and it's at your pace. That's the unique thing about it. Sometimes we get a mindset that this thing is so much bigger than what we are or it's hard or it's distasteful or whatever that we make that mountain out of the molehill and make it bigger than what it is. And she's like glaring straight on like, you. And I'm going to be on the other side of that lens watching this too. So she'll be saying it to me as well. She's like, Joy, look at you. I'm talking to you. And I'm like, okay, okay. I learned my lesson. I learned my lesson. All right. 
So with that, we're going to pick up a pearl of wisdom since she's wanting us to learn a lesson. Um, to, it's, to be able to, to, the lesson isn't like, oh, you get it right and you graduate. It's literally assimilating it into your life. It's an operating principle and a factor that serves everything else you do. Hmm. Girl, what you saying? Yeah, too? Okay. So there she, she's saying you play yourself. She's showing up in the middle here, okay? And then I'll show you what they look like without her giving us the eyeball. <laughs> She's like, you got to choose your side. You got to pick whose side you're on. You're either for you or you're against you. I told you she's a genius, this daughter of fire. I love this new era elements tarot. Okay? You're either working against yourself or you're blessing yourself. Okay? And so if you know better, do better. Pretty simple message there. All right, girl. She's like a typewriter. Getting straight to the point. I love it. Okay, so the Hierophant saying, let's take a little note of this August. So if you happen to show up at, at this after August, just, just roll back in your mind of what was going through your head during August, what was going through your head during this closeout of the summer, which will go all the way through. Um, it'll go all the way through to Libra, but it could also be dealing with a bit of Aquarius. I know that sounds odd, but we're in the Aquarian moon right now. We're about to come up to the Piscean moon, but that will be in September. So... Let's find out what you're wanting us to know about August Hierophant. Two cards. Okay. <clears throat> I'll get one of these in a room. So let's talk. Talk, baby. Talk. Tell us what's up. We're ready to listen. Okay. Be ready to listen. I see you. Be ready to listen. Basically this. She and he, I mean, do you see them with their hands? Let me make sure. I'm going to do it like this so you can see them both. They both have their hands up, two fingers, okay? They're talking about either you're for yourself or you're against yourself, and they're having me lean in because what is at the root and the base of everything you desire and everything you want is, a, you know, Taurus, the bull may have two horns, but it has one mind, one mind. So use that as a channel to centrally focus your energy into the intent of what you want. Not to just be so heavy on intentions, but to take the action that goes along with it. So if you keep them smaller, bite-sized, elephant a bite at a time, they stay actionable. And it's not that hard to get yourself going. And the reward, strangely enough, is right there. Because in your mind, it's that one, like, one piece of the puzzle. You're like, I want that. Boom, you do it. Bam, you got the reward. So that, that reward marries up to the requirement, and that, pre, that creates a good um, culture. Remember her talking about the culture? A good environment for self-motivation, for moving forward, and they're talking about this being a life change, remember? Okay, so you're either for yourself or you're against yourself. Either you're having a playful energy and spirit about it of like, oh, okay, knowing that the reward is at the completion of whatever it is you desire rather than making it the heavy and, and that, you know, um, some of you, this plays back to your parents. The permissive versus the, the totalitarian, the authority. Hmm. Conditional love. Okay, so let's marry together your energies. We're going to stop that right there for a minute. Yeah, I've got you up here for August, but let's get, um, who do I want here? Who do I want here? Okay, you're, you're already coming off the page for us. Marry it together. Okay, 33, chaos and conflict. So, although it seemed unnecessary, terrible, like it's put you at this state to be your own worst enemy, to be against yourself, even though, although, they're saying, although no one else around you knows, you know how you feel inside. And it's like this friction within yourself. Like like the corners of my mouth are turned down. It's just kind of this like grating on your nerves type of thing going on. But it created a whole new sense of being, a sense of wellness, a sense of understanding, something that can't even be like put your finger on it. It can't even be communicated quite yet. Like it's, it's not up for discussion. It's not up to um, be explained or put out. But it is working to your advantage. It keeps you from being preyed upon, is what they're saying, because the only thing that could undermine and prey upon you, like it's saying you have no known natural enemies, the only one that could be your enemy is yourself, okay? So once you know that the only thing that separates you from anything and everything you want is you, 
you're your only undoing. That's empowering. That is powerful. And when this beautiful daughter of fire has told you how to get it, is through uh, concentric, centralized, focused intention and action. Intention and action. Not intention, intention, action. Intention, intention. You might build it there at some point. But remember, the pig is coming in early saying, beware of greed. Start small and you will begin to reap the benefits and it will seem like big returns. And then that begins to rebuild for some of you and build your character in some of you. And not that you didn't have character before, but we're talking about this. This rising up, this new day, putting a rest of chaos and conflict and realizing that you are who you are for a reason. It's beautiful and it's divine and that you don't have to operate in what you witnessed or what you experienced or how you were shaped and molded because you are the divine. He's like, you're the divine and decider. I hope you break those rules. I hope you break that form. I hope you step out into this whole new Here's your back story. You are now brand new, but with the power and the permission, the authority of a grown adult to have this new lightheartedness, this new vision of taking things a step at a time because children don't ever force themselves to anything. They follow this moment and follow that moment and follow this moment and they enjoy it, embrace it, hair coming loose and everything, drool running down the chin, laughing and, and living it full volume, full expression. Look at him, he's still raising his hand, pointing up to the sky because they're dreamers. They're doers and dreamers. They know how to work the magic of bringing it into form. Rising up over the five of wands, over the chaos and conflict. Because they don't have a dead body, they have to step over. They have no resistance to progress, growth, and change. Get happy with it. And it will provide for you and satisfy you in, in ways unspeakable. That's what you're talking about here. Ways unspeakable. All right, so now we're jumping back to this August, possibly through until, um, for some of you, uh, just, just for a handful of weeks from the time you hear this, because these are timeless reads, so I'm just going to remember that. But it's talking about the moon. It's talking about the moon. Being free, because remember she is warning us about your own worst enemy, your best friend. That's like, like your subconscious being naughty, okay? So imagine there were three friends, all right? And you got this one here, and you got this one here, and you got the one in the middle. And the one in the middle loves the attention, and it wants to be important. So it plays up itself one way to this person and one way to that person. But in no way wants these two to be friends because then it's afraid it's going to be left out. Okay? So it'll talk negatively about this person to this. And it'll talk negatively about this person to this. And so it's this playing off the energy for whatever seems to fit or suit the situation at the moment instead of hierophantly stepping into the confirmation of who you are base metal okay your base metal can be gold aw a u ha a u your base metal is gold not could be it is gold not should be it is gold so operate from there operate remember from this state you talk about stem cell potential and action all wrapped up into one it's a baby it's a young person because the way they move and they fully put themselves into anything, not determining how it's going to turn out. Because what happens one bite at a time, you're being fed, you're being nourished. And as you're fed and nourished, tomorrow when you wake up, you're a new you. And that whole new you takes on this day and this bite and this nourishment and this measure and this uh, intention and that actionable item. And you're a whole new you. And it keeps going because this pen is almost coming along like a walking stick. Like you're making your mark. You're making your mark. You're plugging away at whatever it is. You're chopping wood. You're getting there. You're making the progress. So to be satisfied in that, and she just smile. And she's just gleaming right on up. She's like, that's right. That's how it gets done. That's how we make the tapestry. That's how we form the fantasy. I like you, Mother Owata. And so now we're weaving into the hair. <laughs> Let's see, how do you think it's spelled? H-A-R-E or H-A-I-R. They're like, hey, it sounds the same. They're talking about it's not either or, either or. It's not one or the other. You get it all. And, and. 
remember about whatever you grew up in, about that that chaos and that conflict, that juxtaposition, it has to be this or it has to be that, that one in the middle playing it off to whatever seems to suit the situation so it undermines the whole big thing and makes a mess and a racket of it all. Here it is and. It is and. Because see, she's even crowned with a hair. Can you see it on top of her head? I'm going to do my go-go gadget arms. I hope you can see it there. But that is your kingdom. Your mind is fertile and soft. It's at ease. And in that, your imagination, sorry, I'm all trapped up in this outfit, your imagination begins to foster, begins to release and soften and glow because you realize you don't have to do um, intention, 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 action, intention, intention, intention. You know, you don't have to be stuck in that pattern. You get to be this. Do you see how this energy matches this? That spiritual energy that each day is enough of its own. Each day holds pleasures and rewards and action. And it actually feels very good to a Taurus to feel strong, to feel accomplished, whether it's mental strength, whether it's physical strength, whether it's your soul strength to stand up for yourself or to yourself, whatever it is. But breathing in that spirit and getting your heart going and nurturing and nourishing your heart really balances out the energies that you have and brings forth that Venusian crown that you love, the fertile life, the abundant life, the life that holds everything you could ever dream or desire from the connection, the love connections that you want, from the community to the fascination within your home with luxury and opulence and whatever flavor that is, whatever feels good to you, that is opulence, whatever satisfies you in that moment that really makes the stars light up in your eyes that is luxury in that moment and it allows you to be nursed and fed that you wake up a whole brand new person the next day because you can't remove that memory nor that experience so you're building a massive kingdom in the minors i love it you're a genius taurus thanks for sharing this with us hey talk to you soon bye